Thank you so much for your company this morning. Rosalind Manovitz is an award-winning Dunedin-based children's singer-songwriter and entertainer, and her alter ego is the very popular Rainbow Rosalind the Fairy. Children all over the country already enjoy singing and dancing to her debut album, Kia and her latest project aims to introduce them to the world of classical music. And it is great to have you here, Rosalind. Thank you for having me. <laughs> And beautiful outfit, must I say, Thank gorgeous. You. The whole fairy thing is just working particularly <laughs> well for you. It's wonderful. I wish we could dress up this every day. Actually. I'm sure yeah, it would work for you guys too. It would work particularly well for Brain, actually. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, so you got into music from a very young age. Your parents are both musicians? Yeah, my parents are both professional musicians. So they started me playing the violin when I was about two years old and we just grew up around music all the time. Yeah. So tell us about some of the instruments that, that you, you do actually play. Um, so I mainly play the violin and the flute, mm -hmm. um, but I play a few other instruments as well. Um, and I usually play guitar when I'm performing and things like that. Um, yeah. I think your parents must have been professional musicians because I don't think anyone else is going to give a violin to their two-year-old no. and be able to handle the practice sounds because the violin can be a little bit <laughs> a tricky squeaky. until you master it, can't it? So how did you get into making music for kids? Um, I think that I was sort of writing a few pop songs and then once I wrote a pop song and it came out sounding like a kid's song and then I just kind of went with the flow and I was like, okay then. <laughs> but yeah, it's been lots of fun and I love performing for kids. I was just going to ask you about that because I guess the feedback from kids is a lot different from the feedback from adults and maybe kids could be a little bit more honest if they don't like something. They're definitely a lot more honest, just very blunt um, and so in that way it's, it's, yeah, it's very different than performing to adults but also I feel like um, I can be a lot more myself with, around kids because they don't hold back and I love how they don't hold back because they they don't get embarrassed like dancing and singing and yeah. that's kind of an adults adults get a little bit embarrassed they, by that kind yeah, of thing. They do do that thing where they dance like no one's watching. They yeah, really do, don't they? exactly. So tell us a little bit about Rainbow Rosalind the Fairy. I mean, what made you embrace your fairy side and what's her backstory? Um, I guess when I was growing up as a kid, I always said when I grow up I want to be a fairy and everyone told me no that's that's not a that's not a job <laughs> like you have to choose a real job and um so so yeah I did I became a fairy and I just want to show kids that you can do anything that you want to do and be anything that you want to be. I'm just looking here your your music video Aotearoa Home of Our Hearts was awarded the APRA What Now Best Children's Music Video two years ago tell yeah. us about making that that must have been so exciting. Yeah. So that was um, right when I actually started doing this whole Rainbow Rosalind thing. Um, so as you can see on there, I'm not actually even a fairy yet. I hadn't come up with that sort of persona. Um, but I was just travelling around the country and I just, um, I wrote this song for New Zealand Music Month about Aotearoa and how it just feels like it's our home and our hearts. And yeah, I just filmed some shots going around the country and that was really amazing to be nominated for that award and come up to the New Zealand Children's Music Award and that sort of boosted me into the industry and I was able to meet all of these amazing Kiwi musicians for kids that do what I do because mm. there's no one else that does what I do where I do it and um, yes that was so great to meet everyone they're all part of Kiwi Kids Music which mm -hmm. is founded by Susie Kato and mm -hmm. that was a really great experience. And the thing is that New Zealand, kids music in New Zealand is actually doing really yeah. well yeah. isn't it? It's, it's a really big industry. So, so you released your album and then after that you flew to Fiji didn't you? Tell us about your experiences there. Yeah I did a little tour um, on the launch of my first album to Fiji so um, I toured around some primary schools and orphanages there and that was an amazing experience. They'd never seen a fairy before <laughs> and um, they'd never really heard music like that before that was specifically written for them and got them up and dancing and making them feel like the star of the show mm -hmm. and that was wow. that was just really special. I think it's a misconception that people think uh, two things actually writing kids books and writing kids music would be easy mm -hmm. I, I, it's still you're still writing incredible <laughs> work what do you think's the secret to writing a good kids song? Um, I think the secret to writing a good kids song is to um, is to 
do something that is really interactive with them and really including them in the story and in the song. And it's not a performance so much of me just performing to them and them watching. It's really involving them in the story and getting them engaged. And the thing about it is, is that kids will actually take part too. So you try yeah. to do that with an adult, it's not going to work, but yeah. with kids it does work. So tell us a little bit about the show Rosalind, Rainbow Rosalind meets the orchestra. Yeah. So you've composed 15 brand new songs for it. How's it all going to work? So um, I'm doing this concert in the Dunedin Town Hall with the Dunedin and youth orchestra um, and I've yeah composed about 15 new songs and each each song is introducing a different element of the orchestra so there's a song about the string family the brass woodwind percussion the conductor tuning bowing all those different sorts of things and also um, other things that the orchestra are used for like the opera and the ballet and so um, it's a free concert because I just want to be able to um, expose those things to families that might not normally be come to things like that oh. and um, I just want everyone to experience the coming to a real life classical music concert because I feel like it's a very daunting thing. It mm. can be very daunting mm. for kids to go and sit through a whole symphony orchestra mm. concert and, and have to their parents aren't, in, aren't yeah. into classical yeah. music and haven't given them any experience with it. That's right and I just feel like there's a, a gap at the moment and I want to bridge that gap by giving it to them in bite sized pieces that are easy to digest. Is it true that you've composed all the music for that whole for the whole orchestra? <laughs> yeah. That is crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's very easy to sit at home with a guitar and you know make music, but to be able to sit there and then go, I'm going to create something for a whole orchestra, that is incredible. <laughs> yeah, it really is. You've been a very busy fairy. Hey, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Now, Rainbow Rosalind meets the orchestra is at the Dunedin Town Hall on Sunday the 7th of October. Tickets are free, but they can be booked online at universe.com.